The present-day climate of the world in which we find ourselves is one in which we are facing massive and sudden changes to everyday life due to catastrophic global events, in particular the COVID-19 pandemic. The sudden changes that have occurred throughout the world as a result of lockdowns have led to far-reaching knock-on effects, especially concerning the economic situation for many around the globe. Countless individuals have lost their jobs, businesses have suffered or have plummeted to the ground, unable to regain stability, and families have lost their primary sources of income. Many have come to know what it feels like to have their livelihood stripped away from them by circumstances out of their control. Millions of individuals around the world have been forced to find a way to survive in the face of dire economic conditions. This situation can be likened to a sense of global déjà vu, as the daily life for some families today is certainly reminiscent to that of an average family during the Great Depression of the 1930s. Let us embark on an exploration journey in order to discover what life was like for an average family during the Great Depression. As we grow in understanding and empathy of their plight, perhaps we will notice similarities to the economic burdens of many in the world around us today. The Great Depression in the United States of America commenced very suddenly with the crash of the stock market in 1929. This sent the country into a severe economic crisis which lasted from 1929 until 1939, the effects of which saw people suddenly losing their jobs, income, homes and overall livelihoods. Up to one quarter of the population became unemployed and for others wages were cut up to 60% or hours were significantly reduced. This crisis affected the middle class as well as the working class, as it affected urban and rural areas alike. Even the upper middle class employment suffered, with professions in medicine or law, amongst others, dropping incomes by up to 40%. Nationwide, there was of course an overwhelming lack of money for food, and droughts in certain areas affected farming. Thus, there was an overall lack of food. This caused many families to have to stand in bread lines for hours on end, waiting for their turn to buy their family's ration of bread. Many soup kitchens sprang up around the country in order to feed those who were unable to feed themselves. It is estimated that at least one-third of American children went to bed hungry each night. People had to become creative by coming up with ways to make their food go further than it used to. Some of these creative ideas included making more one-pot meals and families growing their own personal vegetables and herb gardens. Potlucks were also a good idea to share food and create an inexpensive way of socializing. Some towns would turn open pieces of land into thrift gardens. These were communal areas designated for people to plant and grow their own food. These measures all helped to withstand the enormous challenges many faced on a daily basis. Family life changed considerably as a result of the Great Depression. Families had to do what was necessary to survive. This often meant that extended families or even different families moved into one house together in order to benefit from the reduced financial strain of supporting one household as opposed to numerous households. This often meant that houses were overcrowded and everyday home life was not very comfortable. Another aspect of family life that changed drastically was that of family roles. Many men lost their jobs in various industries. This resulted in women going out to work, as many of the jobs that were traditionally done by women were still available, although women still received less pay than men in the same position. As a result, many fathers had to stay home with the children, or alternatively, they sometimes had to leave the home to go to other towns to find work. This in turn led to the breakdown of many families. Women and even teenagers would seek work in an effort to have multiple streams of income in a household. As for clothing, shoes and various other household items, people lived by the Depression-era motto, use it up, wear it out, make do or do without. This meant that clothes and shoes were patched up when they were worn out. Even cardboard and cotton was used to patch up holes in the soles of shoes. These items were also handed down to younger siblings or others who could use them. There were still other ways of cutting costs. Many families stopped going to the barber or hairdresser and even the doctor or dentist. Social activities also changed drastically from those of the 1920s in which cinemas were very popular. However, during the Great Depression, many people could no longer afford to go to the cinema, which resulted in one-third of cinemas closing from 1929 to 1934. 
other social activities became more common, families and friends got together for card or board games, many listened to radio programs that emerged as a form of entertainment, and many places to play miniature golf sprung up at an affordable rate per round, which made it a popular activity. Furthermore, one of the further reaching effects of the Great Depression was the massive impact it had on the psychological state of many. Overall, a large portion of the population struggled to deal with the sudden, colossal changes in their lives and the increasing hardships and financial uncertainty they faced daily. During this period, depression and suicide rates increased on a large scale. Formal legal divorces decreased due to the lack of funds for legal work. However, informal divorces increased massively as spouses left their families, in particular, husbands and fathers who struggled to deal with the pressure and devastation of not being able to provide for their families as they once had, leading many, many young people left school in order to look for work. Approximately two million individuals became traveling hobos, many of whom were young people who had left home in order to find work or fend for themselves. Unfortunately, domestic violence also increased significantly. As we consider what we have discovered about life during the Great Depression, and we hear the descriptions and depictions of life during that dark era, it can certainly feel like one is hearing a description of the daily life for many today, due to the far-reaching effects of the COVID-19 global pandemic. It is the unfortunate reality that for many, much of what we have heard today hits very close to home. There are certainly similarities and parallels that can be drawn between these different, yet somehow similar events in history. Perhaps the present-day plight of millions of individuals who endured and survived the Great Depression, an extremely difficult time in history. Hopefully, over and above the message of hopelessness and misery that we might have perceived about that time in history, may we perceive a message of hope. Hope that if that terrible time in history found its end and the economic situation in the USA made a positive turnaround, perhaps we can find hope in the prospect of a turnaround for the situation around the globe today. May we take heart and believe that after every storm, there is a rainbow and ours may be closer than we think. If you like our Day in the Life of series, don't forget to subscribe and check out our newest video here.